right, fuckers, it's Rockwell Anderson here at day two at Welcome to Rockville here in sunny and beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm here with Sergio from Modern Day Outlaw. Modern Day Outlaw. Where are you guys from? We're from uh, sunny South Florida, or as most people say, hot balls. <laughs> hot sticky balls. <laughs> right now, uh, Mistress Mel is down at Fort Myers, and uh, she doesn't have balls while she... Not in the literal sense, but uh, yeah, she says it's a little bit hotter down there than it is here. But anyway, enough about the fucking weather. We're not here to talk about that. That's the, what the weather channel's for. Let's let's get a little bit about your about the band. Gotcha. Well, we're from uh, from South Florida. Been around for quite a while. Um, kind of got together on a whim, just screwing around, friends playing on instruments, and um, turned into hey, let's play shows. Turned into let's write music. Let's let's play stuff so um did our first album southern state of mind came out it was received really well um and just now we just got done uh, we're releasing three months ago our next ep which was uh day of reckoning and response been through the roof people like it we had matt laplan who worked with nonpoint actually do the work on it the recording and the production so uh pretty badass man <laughs> now your manager melanie Melly Mel, she gave me a demo or an EP. Hold on, hold on. I'm off camera. Off camera. Here it is. There we go. Here, Here, yeah, yeah. Hold it right up to the camera, since I spent all that time getting it. There we go. That's pretty interesting artwork. Who did that for you? It's actually a, a guy out of England. Uh, he goes by the name Machine Room. He was recommended to us by a friend, and uh, he works out of England. He did work with Stephen King, did a lot of other stuff, and uh, I honestly didn't even know he did all this work, and he's like, yeah, it's going to cost this much to make it. I gave him the concept, and then I go and I start looking at his previous work, and I was like, holy cow. He was like, this guy's the real deal, and really impressed by the artwork, man. I think it really symbolizes a lot of uh, what's behind our music, so really impressed by it. Excellent, and I do declare it is quite quite nice you're gonna have to put this on vinyl because that artwork needs to be big and we need to carry it at our new store coming to white right texas late summer 2017 because this is fucking awesome there we go so well we got the artwork we've talked about that but let's talk about the actual style that you guys play what kind of genre or bands uh kind of kind of akin to relate to well um like to call it southern metal uh basically we all come from different musical styles i mean me i like a heavier aspect not quite death metal but new core stuff like that but um i also really dig on like old corrosion of conformity down all those principles i am um, when me and Ron, the singer, basically started the band, we, you know, we, we had a whole completely different direction and decided, you know what, man, you know what, they really haven't done, nobody's really taken rock and country or metal and country and really put it together and made it heavy. And um, that's kind of what we, what we dig off of. And uh, it's been working well for us. We enjoy what we do. So, you know. You know, Southern Florida, for those people who don't know, that live in, obviously, different parts of the country and the world, um, South Florida has a great reputation for really a strong, metal scene it's one of the few bastions of the u.s. that really still uh, supports and has a, a good metal scene that's important and it's important that you um, go and check out these bands why are you here today by the way you're not actually your band's not playing but tell us a little bit uh, what brought you here well, uh, we do a lot of work. Me and me and Melanie actually do a lot of work with uh, Metal Master Kingdom, Music Existence, a bunch of different magazines. We we actually Rockville's one of the places we come to. We do a lot of coverage and promotion for bands and everything else. So um, we love music. It's basically why we're up here, and we do this stuff all the time. So besides the fact that I play in a band, I also promote other bands. So uh, if you're out there and you play in a band, don't be so selfish. Go do something to help somebody else. <laughs> and for you touring bands out there, check them out you guys would probably since you know they're in the he's in the business of uh, helping promote bands um, might be a good person to, to get to know and go on tour with all right I'm right brother <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> and usually we talk about because this is where Rockwell and C magazine we also do music content for tattoo.com um, but you're a blank canvas yeah yeah uh, I got plenty of scars to prove that you know that's that's my scars are pretty much they tell a story that's about it but no I haven't really uh, you asked me earlier I said hey you're a blank canvas why don't you have any tattoos ah, I, I really just never got around to it <laughs> it does happen people yeah we've interviewed a lot of people 
out here on tattoo for tattoo.com you know and as you've seen gentlemen like Dave Elson from Megadeth and his partner in crime Dave Mustaine neither one of them have tattoos so it's not that unusual to not have it be in metal and not have a tattoo so so get over it sorry we can't show you any tattoos okay but we love you and thanks for watching tattoo.com <laughs>